we're going to calculate NDVI in R. The first thing we're going to do is import the libraries that we need. So right now we only need one library. That's the Terra library for raster manipulation. Let's import that. And if you haven't, uh, you worked with Terra before, you need to install it first. And you can install it using the install packages function. So what you do is you run install packages and you put the name of the library inside like that. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to run this, but you can just type this out and click run and uh, it'll install Terra for you. So the next thing we wanna do is import the rasters that we need. We're calculating NDVI, so we need two rasters. And we can check what those rasters are by looking at the NDVI calculation online. And the bands you're going to use will change based on whether you use Landsat NDVI, MODIS, or Sentinel. Those, th those are all different uh, satellite instruments and they have different ways of representing the two bands that we need. So to calculate NDVI, we need the near infrared and we need the red band. And on Sentinel, which is what we're using today, the near infrared band is represented by band four and the red band is represented by B4. So we need the B8 band and the B4 band. And I downloaded my data using Google Earth Engine. If you want to know how I did that, let me know and I'll make a separate video. So let's import the B8 band. I'm going to import it using the rast function in Terra. And then in the brackets, we just uh, put the file name in quotation marks for wherever the file is saved. I'm going to set the working directory to, a, to the folder on my desktop where all of my data is saved. So that's just session, set working directory, and then I can choose my directory. Okay, so I've set my working directory, you can see it here. And now I can input the names of my rasters without typing out the whole file name. So first I'll import the B8 band. And next I'm going to do the B4 band. Okay, so those are the two bands that we have. Now we can just use raster math to calculate NDVI. So let's take another look at the equation. It's B8 minus B4 divided by B8 plus B4. You'll notice that I'm putting the top half of the fraction and the bottom half of the fraction within brackets. That's because of bed mass, the order of operations. I want to make sure that uh, the calculation is being done correctly. And we can go into more detail on that once I finish this equation, B8 plus B4. So I put both halves of the fractions in brackets. If I had just done NDVI is equal to B8 minus B4 divided by B8 plus B4, then there's a chance that the, the, uh, that R would do B8 minus B4 divided by B8. And that's not what we want. We don't want B4 divided by B8. We want this half divided by this half. And that's why we use brackets. So let's delete this. And if we take a quick look at B8, you'll see that it's a spat raster object. So this is what a raster looks like when you import it with Terra. Uh, which is what you should be doing in R. It gives you all the details that we want and the same goes for B4. And when you do calculations like this, it's very important that you have the same extent, the same coordinate reference system, the same dimensions, everything should match, okay? And you can make sure that they match by doing, by using the compare geom function. And that's also from the Terra library. So with compare geom, you just do B8 and B4. You input the names of the two rasters that you want to compare, and then you run it. And you can see the result is true, which means they match. So now that we know that they're exactly the same, let's run the NDVI function and take a look at the, the NDVI product. So I'm gonna copy the variable name. I'm gonna clear the console. 
let's take a look and there you go so we now have an ndvi object and this is a raster of ndvi across the area of interest so if we take a look at b8 let's plot it b8 this is what it looks like not exactly clear what's going on there let's do the same for b4 okay you can start to see a few water bodies um, and a couple other outlines but uh, again not really clear what's going on there let's take a look at ndvi and there you go so now you can see areas where the vegetation index is high you can see a couple water bodies where the ndvi is is zero or negligible and then um, you can see a lot of areas that are probably forested or parkland so yeah ndvi is a really great variable for statistical modeling of environmental parameters and other applications and if we want to export the raster we can just use the right raster function again this is from the terra library you don't need to import any of the libraries all you need is all you need is terra and you can do all of this so i want to save the ndvi raster to my directory i'm going to use ndvi we need to specify what we want to save so we want to save ndvi and then i'm going to give it a name i'm going to call it ndvi.tiff and we can just click enter and that's that's really it so now it's been saved to where my working directory is let's take a look and there it is you can see it was saved just this just now and you can import this into qgis you can plot it make a map um yeah it's 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 right there for you